Hello and welcome to CTrader Automate. In this video we will demonstrate how you can reference and call a custom indicator in your CBOT. We will use a ready-made custom indicator and develop a trading robot based on it. Let's switch to the CTrader Automate application. We can see that CTrader Automate features two tabs, CBOTs and indicators. As you might already know in the CBOTs tab you will find your custom developed trading robots. But in CTrader Automate you can also build custom indicators. In the Indicators tab, you will find your custom developed indicators. We already have some custom indicators and we can use them in our automated trading algorithms. We will use one of them to build a simple trading robot and demonstrate how you can call these indicators in your CBOT. We will use the sample SMA indicator and develop a CBOT that trades the simple moving average direction. Let's switch back to the CBOT tab and create a new CBOT. Let's call it SMA Robot. Our CBOT will enter a buy trade when the SMA turns bullish and enter a sell trade when the SMA turns bearish. Opposite positions will be closed on each signal. When it comes to custom indicators, our first step is to add a reference to the custom indicator. To reference a custom indicator we need to execute the following steps. First we need to click on Manage References. Then we need to find the indicator we want to reference. We tick the checkbox beside the indicator and we click Apply. After the custom indicator has been referenced, we need to define it in our CBOT class. At this point you should note that the indicator type should be the same as the indicator's class name. This can be different from the indicator's file name. The next step is to initialize the indicator in our onStart method. Before we do that, let's add a parameter to the CBOT that will allow us to configure the custom indicator's periods. Now let's initialize our indicator. When it comes to custom indicators we can use the indicators get indicator method to initialize our custom indicators. We need to define the indicator type and pass the indicator's parameters separated by commas. Please note that the parameters need to be passed in the order declared in the indicator class. In our case, the type is sample SMA and we will pass the indicator's source values, which in this case is the bar's close prices and the period's parameter. With our indicator initialized, we can now go and develop our trading logic. Our custom SMA indicator saves the moving average values in the results collection. The results collection features two very useful methods, is rising and is falling. These methods allow us to find out if the indicator's values are rising or falling. We use these methods to implement our trading conditions. Now let's fill our if statements. When the moving average is rising we will close all sell positions and open a buy position. On the contrary, when the moving average is falling we will close all buy positions and open a sell position. In our code we have used two new methods that do not exist. The open method opens new positions based on the defined direction and quantity. The close method closes all positions of the defined direction. Let's add the open method first.
We check if there are no positions currently open and we execute a market order based on the trade type parameter. For executing the order inside the open method, we also need to define a volume parameter, let's add that too. Now let's add the close method too. The close method gets all the position that have the same trade type as the parameter and closes them. Let's build our robot and see how it behaves on backtesting. Let's add our custom indicator on the chart and see if the trades match the intended entry points on the indicator chart. We can see that buy trades are placed when the indicator is rising and sell trades are placed when the indicator is falling. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.